Hey everyone, welcome back to White Falcon Plates. Um, so I did do a, a little run with uh, this guy here. Uh, stuffed up the recording. Great, great, great. Got halfway through, stopped, came back, thought I'd started recording again. Didn't. Killed the first boss, the big boss, at the, or the first boss, I think. I think you go down further though, but yeah. So it uh, looks like I've unlocked this chick here. So we might play with her. I think we'll start on hard. We should be okay, hopefully, but we've got to learn something new, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so what do we got? A righteous zealot of a lost holy order. The tempest strikes with the power of a raging storm. Okay. Um, six damage, game rage. Uh, so that's extra damage. Next hit. Block five, purge, zeal one. Gain one zeal for every energy spent. Tricking zeal powers at certain levels. Okay, we'll work that out as we go. What have we got here? Inflict X damage. Block X equal to your zeal. Okay, cool. Uh, Storm Brand. You have plus one maximum energy. When you start a turn at five plus overcharge, gain one energy. Plus one energy. Fifteen, gain plus two. Lose one overcharge for each energy gained by Storm Brand. Okay. Uh, fervor and Zeal. The map will contain various heretic sites. By clearing those rooms, you'll gain Fervor, which you can spend on Zeal abilities. All right, we'll work it out as we go. Here's a booster pack to get you started. Thanks. Now, okay, what do we got? Deal 13 damage, raid 25, Ghost, Inherit. Add a volatile copy of this to your hand. This turn attack and affliction steal X more damage. Okay. Shock 8. I think we're thunder, not shock. Deal 9 damage if you lost health this battle. Trigger plus 1. I don't know what trigger plus 1 is. Oh, it does it again. If you've lost any damage this battle. Block 6, X times. Nice. Block 8, next card played. Will cost 1 more. Okay. All right. Prepare your backpack. Before each delve into the vault, you can add a mastery card to your backpack. After a run where you reach the vault, you'll have the ability to master one of 10 class cards. Once mastered, you'll be able to add one to your backpack and start a new runs. You never, you can't use the same card twice because it'll go into this cooldown area unless it's a health potion, which is always available. So all we've got is a health potion. Uh, okay. The Void chooses their guardians and assigns their blessings. You'll face these evil apparitions on four, floor three, the vault. Okay, we have no idea what they do yet. We'll find it out. I will clear this place of evil. Alright, heretic sites. Certain mobs rooms along the map will mark as heretic sites. You'll gain fight fervor by clearing these rooms, allowing you to purchase new zeal powers. They are marked with a red circle underneath them. Oh, yeah. Okay. As you clear heretic sites, you can gain fervor. You'll be able to purchase new zeal powers. Okay. Well, let's go along all those routes then, I guess. So, we'll do something like this. What is this? Spell child. Shrines. Could heal, cleanse your deck of void cards, or gain some extra essence of souls. All right, we'll uh, we'll see what it does. A friendly young boy with the ability to impart knowledge of spells to cast. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if they're permanent unlocks or not. All right, what do we got in our deck here? We got batter, and we've got thwart. We've also got other these other things here flashing at me we've also got one red all right let's put this in it's a damage card so we'll swap out a damage we've lost health we'll never lose health no we probably will um that could be good we'll see apply shock eight an enemy shock will be added to an attack card's damage before rage is applied then shock is reduced by half rounded down okay 
Doesn't sound that bad, actually. All right, we'll put one of those in. Oh, it costs three, though. Um, Just the card will inflict rage. Let's put it... Let's put it on this one. Uh, okay. Everything else is in our deck and we're ready to go. We have 105 health on hard difficulty. Matron of Memories. As you descend into gloom, you find yourself confronted by the remains of an ornate figure, peaceful in its tombstone. Memories begin to flood your mind like ink spilling into water, blossoming slowly far from reach. They're not your own, but familiar all the same. As you urge yourself forward, a voice cuts through the noise like a blade, peaceful and soft, yet bordering on the edge of sorrow. An offer of aid at a time of need, wrapped in some ghostly assurance of trust. What madness awaits you? Learn a random spell. Gain one upgrade point, add four random potions to your backpack. All those sound really good. <laughs> We're on hard. Slightly worried that it's going to be difficult. We could get potions, which are like health potions and additional energy and stuff. Or gain one upgrade point. I think we get these all the time. Not as big. A random spell could be amazing. What does our spell at the moment? I've forgotten. I think we'll do uh, spell boiled blood probably doesn't even help us at all does it suffer burning for gain rage 75 alright let's do it let us go tally ho forth Forsaken, we've read that before. Overcharge 1, Zeal 5, plus Rebounded. Ooh, okay. Potion, Quick Bart. We have one healing potion. Oh, here's all the ones you can get. Apply Vulnerable 2, Slow 2, and Weak 2 to all enemies. Strength Potion. Okay, cool. Waving in the Wind. Alright, how does this all work? You can use this every three turns. Suffer burning four, gain rage 75. Apply shock. Okay, we don't need this. And we get lots of zeal. Deal six damage X times. We can apply shock. There. Whoa. Wait, what else? Did that do something else? And apply Vulnerable 2 to Lay Rage. Why did it hurt everyone else? Zeal. Deal th oh, here we go. When we get to Zeal 3, deal 3 damage to all enemies. Okay, okay, okay. So we could do masses of damage. 36 damage to him. Or we could just do 21, which is enough. He's gone. Uh, we're at 90, unfortunately. We've got one energy left. We could make someone suffer for... It doesn't seem to be the best option right now. Deal three damage to all. I don't know what happens at a certain, at a certain point. Eight damage or eight damage. Not, oh, we've done it now. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, what do we got? Deal six, 17 damage. Um, I think we can kill both of them and win, can't we? That's amazingly cool. I like it. Perfect. Two souls. Gain the card. What does it do? Overcharge 1, Zeal 5, Rebound, Purge, Trigger, Void, Stone. Wow. Um, Trigger the Void Stone. I don't even know what that is. 
exhilaration. Sounds cool. Okay. If we upgrade this, discharge two. Your next card costs minus one. I don't know what I don't know what discharge means either. I guess that's take away two zeal or something. Let's do this one first because it seems cool and blue. We'll go to the chest and get some loot. Cards zoom past us. He's a proud man. This seemed actually quite goodish. I'm not sure. This turn, each turn that is even, overcharge one, odd range one. That sounds cool. I like I like buff cards. Uh, where is that card? Overcharge two, rage. Interesting. I want to know what trigger void stone is. All right, we need to work out what we're putting in our deck here. That's we want to put that one. That seems a little bit more like a one of these. We'll do that. Got grounded, a buff. Do that. Block six time six x times. Get rid of it. All right, we'll put one of those in. Um. Deal 9 damage if you have lost health. Okay. That should be good. We haven't got any stones. Let's go. We could... Uh, a choice of healing. Cleanse your deck. Avoid or gain some extra essence souls. Or we get this room. Heretic site. Let's do this room. Let's see what this means. We've got the rabbit dogs. Okay. Block 8. Next card played will cost one more. Hounds of hell. All right, um, let's use this. Only takes, oh, wait there. Wait, we, I suffer four burning, but gain 75% rage. Is that what happens? It is true. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's uh, start smacking this guy then. And we'll gain lots of energy. Okay. It's a decent amount of damage going for our face there. Overcharge one zeal five rebound. Purge trigger the void stone. I don't know what the void stone is. Oh, maybe it triggers this void stone bar. What, so you automatically get one of them? Trick of Void Stone. Alright, um... Deal 7 damage, block 5, overcharge 1. That seems pretty good. Probably should do it after this, though. Okay, so what happens if we purge this now? Trigger the void stone. Yellow void stone block four. I don't know what what's going on there. But we can take this guy out, which seems good. We lost one HP. Damn. All right, this is going to smash the, everyone. Take him out first. Okay. Plus one further. No idea what that means. Here you can exchange further for new zeal powers. Oh, we got a new zeal power. Though, didn't we? You will start each run with a, with a zeal. To, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay with zeal 3 and zeal 7 power however you'll have to purchase your zeal 5 and zeal 10 powers each slot can only have one power equipped at a time and some powers will require you to purchase the first power in the tree 
Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, I like the plus. I like the three damage to all enemies, but I guess that'll get less and less good later. Um, so we could do. Uh, what is this doing? Where am I? What am I reading here? Hunger whirling. Okay, delay, rage twenty five. So next turn we get twenty five rage. Discharge one. Apply. Consume X overcharge. Apply shock four to all enemies. That's cool. So I guess we want one of these two here because it makes sense. We're not really going to get to seal 10 that quickly yet. So let's um, grab this one. Seems decent. Okay. So we could unlock another one here. We could, or we could get the ability to get a new spell. Ability to purchase new spells with essences. All right. Well, we got a spell and we need at least 310 essence to go there. So... We're going here. Deal 16 damage. Sift 1. Discard a card from your deck. Okay. That's not bad. Alright, we've seen these plants before. Let's get in there. Alright, I'm glad I'm recording this time. It's good. Double check 16 minutes in. Bit late, but I think I did before. I'm just a bit nervous now. Alright, we can apply 8 shock. Cost 3. Each turn that is even... Oh, oh yeah, this is good. Uh, we don't need a block at all this turn. I think this is good. Definitely has the most health. Um, we'll, we'll take one of these away. And we'll hit this guy. Seems good. So we got our five. What was that? We're going to have rage 25 next turn. That stacks, I guess. So we'll have 75. Only 50. This turn, attacking cards do X move. Okay, okay. Um, We've got six. Unfortunately, the block isn't big enough. We're going to take another damage. All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, deal 11 damage, which will be enough to kill this guy because he's vulnerable. I think this will be enough to kill him. 23. Yeah, easy. Um, gain rate 75. Alright, let's do that. We can, um, get rid of that, I guess. Let's do 11 damage, not enough. Let's just hold off. This turn, oh, I shouldn't have held off. Okay. I'm kind of, kind of getting it slowly. Because that was a waste. We should have used that 75. Definitely then. Okay. Trigger Void Stone. I don't know what that does. I'm guessing it gives us block 4. Alright, let's have a look. I know I'd like to do all this cool stuff. But, let's see. We've got 7. I don't know what it does. Someone's going to have to tell me in chat. Alright, let's take out these guys quickly. And off we go. Plus one further. Okay. So we can unlock our 10. We may as well. I don't think we'll ever get there, but that's okay. Um, Shop. No choice. Off we go. <laughs> uh, each turn, zeal two the first time you discharge. Discharge is consume X overcharge. Oh my goodness. Each time we can't afford anything except this one. Oh no. Yeah. Can't afford anything except these three. Then we have to unlock, uh, we have to upgrade them ourselves. Close in. Discharge one, block five, opening, open it, trigger plus one. Okay. Deal six damage, overcharge one, when played, discharge two, trigger plus one times. Jeez, gets complete complicated. When played, discharge two 
trigger another time. It's a bit expensive. Alright, uh, we should buy something though. Let's get this block card, shall we? Alright. You can re-enter. Sounds good. Alright, block 8. Next card played will cost one more. Don't like that. Deal 16 damage and sift 1. That could be good later if we get some void cards in our deck. Let's grab this one. We'll swap it out for a thwart, I guess. We're not going to get the zeal, though. I don't think we need this one. Let's get rid of this one. Put this one in. Um, all right. We've got a, we can, we can get a card instantly in our hand first. Um, what would be good for that? Probably this one. All right, let's do that for that one. The little turn up in our hand first. All right, let's get this other one here. We could go down here. What's this? Wow. Sending artifacts for essences. We need a lot of essence, though. Um, a friendly gentleman offering void stones for sale. Oh, these things. Okay. So many things. So many things. All right, we've done these guys before. Infections. Arcane Overload. Deal 6 damage plus 4 for each ability played this turn. Interesting. Ability. Is that anything? Not sure. Each turn that is even. Oh yeah, this is good, of course. So we do that. Um, we're going to apply this to someone. we do that um if we do this we're gonna get tons of damage next turn oh wait i thought i did it next turn oh you idiot you idiot you idiot you idiot oh gosh i was thinking of delayed but it's not delayed so we could have got a hundred percent damage next turn if we were smart and not silly not silly. All right. Um, let's do some blocking, I guess. It's very hard to block all damage with this character. Unfortunately, we need to take this guy out. Um... On that, that stacks as you go in the round. Interesting. Alright. It's a big learning curve, this game. Alright, so this is good. This one's not so good at the moment. Let's um, start smacking guys. 26. Yeah, because that'll be perfect. Because then we'll zeal and take him out. We can hit this guy. No, let's do this again. Oh, we get it back again. Oh, we should have blocked twice. Oh, I can't do that one. Dang it. Taking a bit of damage there. This this is annoying. We can kill him with zeal next turn. Alright, um. Is that if we put a void stone in here, it'll trigger it? I think that's what it means now. Alright. Five block is all we need. So we'll grab zeal for that. Hit this guy with that. Kill the other guy. Um, we'll overcharge. Darn, that's close. Okay, where's overcharge go? Alright. 
They're putting lots of stuff in our vehicles, aren't they? Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do this. Uh, 14 damage there. Actually, it's better if we do that. Sixteen. This should now then increase it enough to take this guy out. Yes. Uh, purge seal one, and then we can do this twice. We don't get. We get hit though. But we should be a hundred percent fine here. Okay, okay. Ability played this turn. That sounds pretty good, I think. Alright, so what have we got here? Three damage. What are the other things now? Delayed rage. Overcharge one. Um, and then if we get all the way down there, apply four shock to all enemies. This is going to happen the most. Block six and... Deal three damage to all enemies again. Let's grab overcharge. Okay. Um we don't have enough to buy anything there. We've got a yellow. Gain four block when used. This turn. I think we'll use this all the time, so let's put it into that. We actually, actually, it would have been better to put like a duplicate in there, but that's what you think about afterwards, isn't it? All right, let's do that. We do have this one, deal 16 damage. Let's put that in there. We'll gain some health a bit later. All right. Alright, this is the only thing we've got. Forge Soldier. Malice encased in the darkest obsidian. A golem forged with hatred siphoned from the spinning wheel of time. It exists simply to gorge itself on the sweet agony of frail mortality. Luckily, we're not frail. Interweaves fortitude and AP gain with attack, constantly escalating its threat while you wait for an opening. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Do that. I don't know if I ever play that one. Um, I think we'll play this. And then how many... This will do then. Abilities. Fifteen. Do, 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 do. How much discharge? Where does that go? Yeah, this is good, but very expensive. Um, and does vulnerable. Oh, oh. We can either take some damage. Oh, and sneeze. Where does the discard discharge go? All right. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Take a bit of damage, but take him out quick. We'll use a potion next turn. Look at that, we need to go up to 10. Wow. Still don't know where overcharge is. Can we play? Here we go. Overcharge 1. Let's see. Overcharged. Oh, there we go. Plus 1 maximum energy. I don't know. Grounded. Oh, here it is. Overcharged. There it is. I found it. I found it. All right. We can take this guy out, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Um... Twenty damage. Yep. Oh no. It's all fortitude damage. Ooh. Energizing. All right. Still learning. Still learning stuff as we go. Unfortunately. All right. He's dead. Isn't he? I think. So like, why isn't he dying? There we go. Alright, energy potion. Souls. I deal 7 damage to all enemies. Solo. Apply vulnerable 1. Oh, interesting. I like it. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I quite like that card. Let's get rid of that card for now. Put some more batter in. Not that much, though. Uh, we could go down here. Cast seven souls. Void, void souls. You currently have ten souls. You can gain souls mainly by fighting mobs. However, they can be found elsewhere. Tradable at soul collector and various other event rooms. You can unleash your unspent souls when you reach the vault to inflict damage to the void. Um, we can get... We can get what? There are those who shun the idea of essence as currency. Instead, they decide to collect souls of those who have passed. Artifacts and void stones available to purchase with your collection of souls. It'd be interesting to see what artifacts there are available. This one has an elite fight and we get a chest out of it. And then we get to go here, which would be quite good. All right, how much health do we have? Let's use a potion. And go for it. We'll get like 21 health or something back. Skeletal Mage. Those who dabble in the art of undeath will eventually fall prey to it. After all, if one cannot die, what happens when the flesh eventually sloths away? Anytime you lose health, this creature will increase its frenzy. It can remove debuffs, point attack while doing so. Alright. I like it how we get this option before we even take on the elites. It's cool. Uh, every seventh card played will cost one less energy. Okay. At the end of your turn, delay block equal to half your zeal. That's kind of cool. I like that. If you start your turn with seven or more energy, apply vulnerable one to all enemies. That's awesome as well. Let's get this one. Gain a bit of extra block. All right. Definitely this. Um... We won't play this because we get... Let's get a whole lot of energy up. Um, yeah, let's get a whole lot of energy up. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let us... Let us do this craziness. Let us... We can apply vulnerable to him. Let's shock him first. Oh, that's an ability. Okay. And then we'll make him vulnerable to three. We've got nothing hitting us yet. So let's purge this for an extra zeal. Gives us one of those. We should then do this. And then hit him... 
for a decent amount of damage. That was a pretty good turn, I think. And we get delayed four. So that will go down to one. Oh, I think he did other things. All right, so everything's costing a bit extra now. But uh, we can still do some stuff to him. Which is pretty decent. We can gain our purge. We could then block 5, overcharge 1, deal 16. Or deal 41. Oh! Perfect fight. Souls. Nice. Okay, so let's go here. We've got a blue stone that we can use as well. But let's have a look what we've got here. Twisted Shrine. <coughs> All right. The shrine lowers towers before you. A dark mo motif of misshapen evil sits cut into the stone along the crest. Eyes glowing, calling to the stars. A chill permeates the room. Sharp coolness given off by your liquid. A distant contrast to the darkness you've just come across. So we saw this as we did last time, I think. Let's gain a whole lot of essence. Let's go and get this other one here. Vulnerable to block 10. Not the worst thing ever. Ooh. Treasure Golem. All manner of treasure is left behind by those countless fallen. These creatures live for nothing else other than to scavenge from the living or the dead. This cowardly creature will flee after a certain number of turns. The more damage you hit, damage him, the more you damage him, the more reward you'll gain. Awesome. Alright, we'll do that still. Get some zeal. We'll overcharge. We could do this twice. Um, or do that once and this once. Let's do this twice. Look at all that essence. Woo, woo, woo. Or we can even hit him with this as well. It's just 14. I think we will gain the energy. Delayed block four. Cow in fear. All right. Um, I think we'll do this to start hitting him for a lot of damage. We don't need to block. Gain some zeal there. Gain extra damage. Gain even extra damage. Do some more damage. Go overcharge like crazy. And I guess he's going to run away now. He's still there. You're in trouble, mate. Ability, that's an attack. Alright, we don't need to block again. So we'll go for that. We'll attack. There we go. One booster pack. Be a bit further. Okay, all sorts. Can you get epics out of this? Blue. Block four to lay block six. That's not too bad. Overcharge two. It's not bad. Draw one. Overcharge two. Quick charge. Okay, we got a lot of things to figure out. Let us start figuring out. What is this? Draw one, discard one. Deal 16 damage, overcharge 2. Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where was the blue one we got? Block 4, delay block 6. No, I'm not happy with that. Um, the deal 16 damage sift 1 or deal 16 damage overcharge 2 apply vulnerable 2 to all enemies apply shock 2 to all enemies that seems pretty decent actually draw 1 overcharge 2 hmm What else do we get away here? Um, I 
I don't want to get rid of too many of something. Let's get rid of this. It costs a bit too much. All right. Um, should we put... Wait, wait, wait. Let's um, put it on this thing just to see if it works. Okay. We can go here, then there, then there. We may as well. Oh, epic card. Deal 10 damage, discharge, four, draw two, open it, trigger plus one. Oh my goodness. Avoid more seems dangerous. Avoid more. An ancient beast stalking beneath the surface, feeding on the enemies of the void itself. It is whispered the last thing its victims see is the universe echoed in the abyss of this creature's maw. Gee, some of these creatures are crazy. Like, what kind of characters are we to take out these guys? A single creature fight where the beast gets stronger as you purge cards. Interesting. All right, we'll definitely do that. So we purge cards, and what happens? Increases one each time you purge. Gains plus two empty when it reaches three, then resets. Dangerous, dangerous. Really dangerous for my character. All right. Jeez. As soon as he gets one more, he's going to start doing 30 damage to me. This is crazy. Alright, let's start doing some big damage to it then. Um. My goodness. Will it instantly get an extra 15 damage. Oh, it just gets a little bit extra damage. Okay. Um, we kind of want to block some of this damage, I think. Why is this blue? Not sure why it's blue. Oh, it means I can discharge it. Okay. Alright, let us do that. And then we'll do that again. Alright. Seven damage to our face. Alright, alright, alright. Is that an ability? It is. Expensive though. Forty five damage. We don't want it to get more though. So we're going to have to take a bit more damage again. Then we can kill it next turn. Okay. Anything will do really. Okay. Pretty cool card, I think. Can we upgrade that card? Sure can. Discharge three, draw plus two, open a trigger plus one. All right, we'll try and get it to work. We don't have any more potions of healing. Oh, this does give us a potion. Maybe a potion of healing. A shift polarity potion. All right, we've got no choice but to fight him. So let's go. Ghostly Piranhas. Sounds pretty freaky to me. The quiet blackness of the pool before you gives off unnerving tones. Beneath the surface, you see hints of small green glowing shapes darting quickly around the blackness. These creatures will get stronger when afflicted with debuffs or when allies die. Take care which ones you target when. Oh my goodness. Attack. Scent of blood, apply vulnerable one and stun. Gains plus one frenzy the first time it suffers any debuff or when an enemy is killed. Okay, so we just have to kind of kill different ones at different times. 
we could gain a whole lot of mana this turn. Inherit, discharge, rage. I think we'll do one of these. Center blood, apply vulnerable one and stun. Don't like it. All right, we got one of those. I'll do that. Like we can't kill it, can we? Twenty damage, nearly. All right, let's just save our mana. See how we go. Ooh, they're gonna do some decent damage to me here. Um, deal six damage X times. Let us get rid of this damage that we're taking. Gain some zeal. We could kill one of these. Blood and the waters. Heal for 25%. Or we could hit one for 14. How much damage does this do? 18. Dispense all our mana though. Don't like it. I think I might get rid of that card. All right. Um, this is this is good, but they get angry, don't they? Gains one frenzy the first time. How many can we kill this turn? Probably only one. Jeez. Okay, I think that could have gone, that was the best it could have gone, because this guy's just doing weird stuff to us. Then we should be able to kill him this turn, hopefully. Um, I think we apply vulnerable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do massive damage. Nice! Overcharge, block, and delay block equal to this card's cost. Purge, gain one energy, and your next card costs plus one. That's weird. You gotta try and make it cost more. Hmm. Alright, um... Could be good. We haven't got that many abilities. Oh, I can upgrade this. I think we do that because we're doing that straight away each turn. That's not bad either. Oh. Let's do this. Alright, we need to uh, equip our potions. Oh, we do have a healing potion. Um, what? Cursed swine. The sudden shrieking of the swine is the last thing you may know. With a sickly suck, piglets, <laughs> what? And with sizzling explosives cruelly strapped to their hides, pull themselves free of the mother to charge, squealing headlong and exploding in a grisly show of fat and bacon. That is disgusting. Big Bertha has low base damage, but no limit to her gradually growing frenzy. While her children have the ability to explode and deal damage, the more cards you play. Whoa. This reminds me of Borderlands 2. Is that what it's called? No. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Is that what it's called? Wastelands too. All right, this will be good. Kind of, just seven damage, I guess. Not amazing. 
you're gonna get it next turn. All right, let's do this. Once a turn, when this enemy suffers damage or an ally dies, it will increase its frenzy by one. Charge, add one days when days then attack. It's doing three damage. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we got? Um, apply eight shock. Seems good. Um, we've got no mana to do anything. Let's let's grab some mana. All right. All right, I think we definitely do this this turn. Every time you play a card, decrease the value by one. When it reaches zero, it will explode, inflicting eight threat. It's not that bad. I think we definitely do this to this guy. Especially while we can. Jeez. Is this insane or what? That's insane card. New spell, Bacon Bomb. Is that because we got perfect or not? Probably not. The Well of Stars. You stare deep into the abyss that haunts the bottom of the well. Motes of light glimmer and twinkle, submerged inside its murky depths, haunted visages, visages of forgotten promises. Choose one free promise. Obtain this uncommon relic. At the start of each battle, apply two, week two to all enemies and delay block ten. That's pretty good. Gain two random void stones. Gain two upgrade points. I like this. Let's grab this. Uh, we can pay money to get more. Obtain the favor of Leo. Uh, the twelfth time you play an ability in battle, rage 150%. Okay, it's not bad. One on, uh, draft one uncommon from a pool of three. Gain one yellow void stone. Yellows... Um, what does it look like? Give you plus four block. Let's get this for sure. Can buy as many as we want. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. It'll help us. Let's proceed. Whoa. What do we got here? Lost and found a collection of cards and artifacts you had to turn down along your journey. Oh, that's cool. All right. So we want to kind of go for these if possible. What is this? Chance to visit Queen and trade souls for unique, powerful void stones. Oh, souls! Yeah. Uh, here you can ex here you can exchange a non-class card for a random class card with a void stone. Ah, void stone. Oh, okay. So we'll go here. I don't know if we can go there. If we can, we will. Then we'll go. Um, or maybe we can only go down once. Oh, I don't think we can get to that. But hopefully we can get to that. Then we have to go up here. Do we have to miss out on that? Like, that looks cool though. What's this? Works for crazy men selling potions. We're not going to have enough money, I don't think. Hmm. I think if we go up here, we're setting ourselves in a bit of a rut to... Because this is all buying stuff. Oh, but that's souls. And that's a void stone. Okay. Oh, well, let's see how it goes. Um, and then we've got these to equip. Let's do that. Um, deal 12 damage. Gain... 
20 rage and it would happen twice. We gotta put this in. Um, I can't make that work at the moment. And then we'll just put something on one of these other ones. I, I was gonna get rid of that, wasn't I? And then we've got one of these old things. This is cool. Let's do that. Wait, it doesn't expel or anything, does it? No. Actually, it would have been good to do that to get a black one. This thing's really strong. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Um, so we'll jump into this in the next episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next time. White Falcon out.